Sunday, May 31st. And the world is just burning to the ground. Now, it should have been burning a long time ago, if you really were about freedom, liberty, and equality. But we will forever live under the shadow of slavery. In the United States, in the Americas, we should acknowledge and go into the histories and be humbled and show respect that the reason we live the way we do today, the reason our countries are so great, is because for a hundred of years, plus years, hundreds of years, our countries were built on the backs of slaves. Now this is true through almost every culture and every religion and every time spanning to the prehistories. There has been slaves and only recently have we eradicated modern slavery. I say we, but really it was another interesting story about burning things to the ground in the 1800s. In the mid 19th century, the Royal British Navy took it upon themselves to eradicate modern slavery. They were alone at first. Now, luckily, they were at war with every almost every other nation at the time in the, in the early 1800s. So they would just take ships left and right and search them for slaves. And if they had slaves, they'd take them as prizes of war. And if even if your country was not at war with Great Britain, I think the a rare exception was Portugal in like the, the early, mid-1800s, they still agreed to let their ships be searched for slaveries, slaves. And... Now, this was the task that has never been undertaken and probably never been undertaken since because this is the time of sails before electricity, before modern technology. They were sailing by the wind and then eventually they, they had steamships in the later 1800s, in the mid to later 1800s. But the anti-slavery patrols, which was the West Africa Squadron for the British Royal Navy, were away from ports for years at a time. Their captains were out of contact with London or any kind of higher authority for months at a time. To find them take, took months to report anything. And they used this liberty, these captains, they used this liberty in isolation and initiative to use some of the more brutal tactics to end slavery. A British ship would roll into some kingdoms river in west africa the galenist people and if they didn't sign the treaty to end slavery to allow british troops to be there to make sure that slavers weren't hunting slaves they would burn the kingdom to the ground islamic kingdoms they would burn spanish slaving companies and american slavers to the ground and the slavers would use brutal tactics also dumping human cargo overboard to lessen the crimes of being caught. Now, as the world burns today, we should look at the tactics used by the West Africa squadron in their raising of the western coast of Africa to end slavery. And one name comes to note. <clears throat> he retired as a Rear Admiral Joseph Denman. And he did so much to end slavery, the slave trade in the Atlantic, and even wrote the manual on how to end slavery in the slave trade. In the mid-1840s, he did so much burning. He burnt down a Spanish slaving factory. Now imagine putting those two words together, a slaving factory. The words probably could not do it justice about what it did to people. And sailors underneath him reported, and this is a quote, I'm probably butchering it, but they reported as like, burning the slaving factory is a very efficient way to end slavery because you do not catch each individual hornet individually, you burn the nest. Like That's kind of a cruel tactic used against the cruel terrorists, the slavers were terrorists. And so much property damage did he do to powerful forces in Europe that were still using slavery. In one instance, a Spanish slaving something, like a family or company or whatever owned it. He burnt down one of their properties in, in Africa that was slaving. 
And he did so much damage that time that they couldn't ignore it. The, the British Royal Navy, who was answerable to no one but King and God, <laughs> had to recall Joseph Denman back to London, put him on half pay because he he's he's a he's a war criminal now because he burnt down all this slaving factory. And in that time when he was in London, he actually wrote the manual to you know the manual on the anti-slavery patrol of the West Africa Squadron, which is pretty cool. But such an impassioned speech did he give in front of Parliament when called to testify his side of the story that they gave him more money, more ships, more funding to go finish the job and burn anything else in his way. Now we look at the we look at today in the world burning, and we should look at the past about how they ended slavery, and maybe that could be a tool or the men used back then their brutal tactics. Maybe we could use their strategies. To end this shadow of slavery we still live under. This shadow of slavery called racism.